Hi guys, and uh, welcome to my real life. Now, um, I was out running errands with my husband and, uh, oh, sorry about that. My foot was resting on the stand here. Um, I was out running errands with my husband, got a notice that we had a package in the delivery today. So when I got home from running errands, I decided to come up here and film. I'm sure it'll say down here. Uh, an unboxing for today. Apparently, I massively misunderstood how Jimmy Bean does their deliveries with their thing, but as I've said repeatedly on my written blog and here, my life is a walking blonde joke. So, um, like I told you yesterday, actually, the next month's box was going to be a Jimmy Bean box. Unfortunately, I placed my order just before they were sending out this month's box. So I ended up with the box this month again. So we'll have stacked boxes again for the last month. Um, but that's not all. I placed an order for three months worth of the boxes and I got two boxes today. So I'm guessing this was an October, November, December deal. And they sent October and November at the same time, which means it looks like this might be like the other one where you get one big project that you work over the course of a couple months. I mean, if so, that's kind of cool they do it this way. I just kind of wish they still kept the like month one, month two, month three. But when you're sending out a subscription box the way they do, like I know that would be like impossible, but... So... Let's crack on and see what we have. This is box number one. These were $25 a month, so $75 for the three-month subscription, by the way. All right, well. Big Beanie Bag Project Club 2018 with the definition for frogging. That's kind of cute. That emptied the box pretty quickly. Hmm, that's cute. A little springish. Um, we're doing things differently this quarter. Your latest project has a repetitive, repetitive, repetitive pattern and large detailed chart. So instead of sending out yarn as part of the pattern each month, we're sending you the entire pattern. Main color A... Color B, color C, color D. Once again, your pattern you're holding will now be your reference for yarn for the next three months. Don't worry if you use the pattern, you will, we will always send you a new one. Okay, that's kind of cool. So, this is the picture on the bottom. Is that, that looks like what the scarf is made of. So they already show you exactly what you're getting. That's okay. something so bad. There's a Jimmy Beans badge, pin badge. Wow. I ain't focusing on my fingers right now, dude. Oh, well. Pin badge. Now the baggie's empty. We've got a thing of Handmade for Jimmy Bean Wool. This rinse. Yeah, it's by Soak. Oh, no, it's a hand cream. Enriched with shea butter, olive oil. Okay, well. Wow. And I just cleaned the screen on this camera. All right, so we got some hand cream, button badge. Yeah, that picture is exactly what we got. Rowan felted tweed, approximately 60 yards in each ball. So we've got an orange, a sea foam, and a hot pink. Somebody lost their little, this is this one lost their little, and they did print little tags to go on the inside. So that's kind of cool. Vaseline green. <laughs> uh, uh. I'm guessing after the old Vaseline containers, the vintage glass ones. 
Um, this one is Zinnia. I mean, it reads brighter on screen, but it's definitely orange. I mean, it's, it's not true to color, but I mean, you see pink, see it up against purple, red, pink. Actually, that's kind of a nice way to be able to show off the contrast of things. I didn't think about that while I was sitting here. That's not why I'm sitting in front of my fabric. And this one is Barbara Hot Pink. It's a little bit more plum than my shirt. And the last thing in the little plastic bag here is Felted tweed, tweed, tweed. Wow. 50% wool, 25% apaca, 75% viscose, 191 yards. I don't know what the color name is. I haven't had Rowan wool in a while, so maybe. I'll... Oh well. This I like a lot. This color is like so totally my jam. That's very pretty. I I don't know that I'd say I feel like I have pen badge or an enamel pen, a sample of hand wash and two, four, six, 110 grams of Rowan was worth 25 bucks. Oh, and a project bag. Project keeper bag's a nice touch, I will say. Um, plus it's a Chevron scarf. Um, so I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, not that I have a problem with it, but it's just not that exciting, if that makes sense. Um, I, I am doing a lot of these blind. Like I go into it not knowing really what to expect, which is how a lot of other people come into these things, not really knowing what to expect. Um, so, you know, whatever. This is box number two. No. Exact same yarn. Another copy of the pattern. Yeah, another. Three more of the wee baby cakes. Which I do think that's adorable. And we've got another uh, hand cream by Soak. A Namaste needle for weaving in the ends. Weaving in the ends is just like the beginning. Oh, wow. That's my hand cream. And be kind, be yourself, be creative, knit Namaste. Welcome to Knitting Nirvana. Take the time to focus on each breath you take, each stitch you make. This is where knitting and mindfulness meet. Namaste. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's a dot paper on the inside. So you could do um, pattern graphing if you wanted to. You could use it kind of like a daily journal planner thing. That's kind of cool. So I kind of wish this were still spread out. Because I did buy a kit for three months, not three kits. Um, and that wasn't, not to my knowledge, expressed on the thing that that's what, on the website, as to that's what was going to happen. Um, so I'm a little surprised that that's how it was delivered. I would have expected one box, not, not two, on your first delivery for a three-month subscription. Only because they have it set up, like, it, 
you buy three months at one time, but they ship them every month. So if you were going to buy somebody a Christmas gift that you wanted to keep on giving, like, do you really want them to get two thirds of their gift, like all at once? So I have to say, I'm a little confused by, based on the way they're doing the project kit, I'm not confused based on the way they they advertise it. I'm a little confused, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so I will get to knitting on that sometime. I still have a hat I'm working on for myself because it's blooming cold. I have a pair of socks that I'm really excited about and four hats that I need to make for deliveries. So it will probably be sometime late next week before I get started on this. Um, yeah, I just noticed that it was knit only. There wasn't a crochet option with that. Maybe I picked a knit kit. Maybe they offer both. I don't know. I'll have to go back and research it. I uh, just happened to see where somebody was recommending or ask. It wasn't recommending. They were asking whether or not the beanie bags were worth it. And then when I went on the website, I saw the big beanie bag. Um, like I said yesterday, I was familiar with the beanie bag, but I wouldn't. Yeah. Anyway. So that's all for us right now. Um, I will keep you posted on how this goes. Uh, they send this out on the 15th. So I have until the 17th of December to get through two months, it looks like. Um, or I could just knit it as three months. Maybe that's what I'll do. Um, since I am expecting the darn good yarn box. It's under like my front door. This is a frog room and like there's the baby door that goes into the bedroom over here and then like the big stairs. So I can't always hear what happens downstairs. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I think that might be what I do since I just flat out paid for three months. I think what I'll do is I'll work on darn good yarn for the rest of November to middle of December. And then whenever I finish that is when I will start this and I'll unbox the next month's box just like this and I'll keep you updated um, so I'll do my next update for this in the middle of December. So this will run December, January, and February is when I'll do drop-ins for this. Cause I have one more drop-in in December, obviously opening the third box. And then I'm going to have to like work the project in there. So we'll see how I feel about it. We'll see how I feel about, is the scarf worth $75? I mean, that's kind of how I buy yarn is I look at if I'm going to make a pair of socks. Is a pair of socks worth? Um, am I going to get $25 worth of use out of this handmade pair of socks? Um, is the scarf worth $30? And in some cases, hands down, yes. The cats are in here again. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. But, uh. Like I said, I was out running errands. I wasn't planning on getting any mail today. So forgive my schlubbiness. But uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And hopefully I'll be back on Monday for my darn good box opening for the last month. So bye, guys. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Mwah!